everyone welcome to archland so this is another edition of the tier list but this is for pvp uh both modes which is our regular pvp and real-time pvp and these will focus on your ssr heroes so take note that we don't have srs here probably in another future tier list when there are additional ssrs i can add those srs but for now will have to be contented with the SSRs. This tier list will guide you on who to invest in and who not to invest in if you want to focus on PvE, uh, PvP content for both real-time and your regular PvP. So to start off, we are actually going to cover um, your tier 2. Tier 2, we have Capet or Carpet. Okay, Capet is a lightning warrior. While good as a suicide bomber, he can, you know, really reach the back line. He is risky to use. So his fu only function is a suicide bomber. Um, really squishy. And with the pairing system in terms of um, the battle in PvP, some sometimes most of your enemies that are paired with you are of higher level of view. So it's still risky even if... He tries to kill off um, an enemy with a weaker element. So again, that is why Capet is at tier two. Although being a being a suicide bomber would be good for PvP, but again, too risky. Next off uh, for tier two, only it's only going to be two of them. Um, it's going to be Silva. So Silva is a fire ranger. Um, upside for Silva. She is very pesky. I've I've tried, you know, I had a opponent um, that used her. Very pesky with her ignite damage over time, but really very poor damage output. So you can only rely on her for her DOT, but not for her for for her you know her overall damage per se. So both of them are belonging to tier 2 next up we go to tier 1.5 so we start off with uh, peacock where is peacock so peacock here has a uh, good mobility by the way peacock is a dark warrior um good mobility for backline assassination shines only with a debuff team although she does have her own debuff but again for her to deal a lot of damage she needs to have the enemy have a debuff on them and um, she has poor survivability and no utility skill or low utility skill so that is why she's at tier 1.5 i i tried bringing her in pvp in, in the beginning but really she doesn't have an edge or um again survivability is a question is questionable you actually have to have a vampire rune to make her, you know, to make her um, viable enough for PvP. But again, I wouldn't use her because of only being a high damage, you know, high damage warrior with a reliance on debuffs. Next is going to be Kabir. Kabir here is a dark tank. Um, also reliant on debuffs to increase damage, but stuns your enemies is an average tank really um can't say much about him there are better tanks on the upper tiers so that is why kabir is at tier 1.5 and the last at tier 1.5 is going to be clarice clarice um i know she's she's free i'm sure most of you have her um it's, it's not really you know Especially if you're free to play, it's not really bad to bring her. But again, to be able to compete in higher levels of PvP, um, she's not really recommended. So it's an element of concern because the the um, the dominant type of element in PvP will be water. Um, I'll explain that later when we go to the higher tiers. So an element of concern ignores escort passive, which is actually good for her, especially in PvP where teams that bring a lot of uh, bring tanks as escorts. Backline assassination is her specialty. She's mobile, by the way, but the problem is when she gets mobbed, she she has good dodge, but again, she can she cannot really dodge as much. 
So she will stay with tier 1.5. Okay, so next up is we're, we're going to be with the tier 1. Okay, starting off with Atom here. Atom is a fire mage, great AoE and ignite. <laughs> Again, for for PvP, uh, AoE and ignite are, are are is a very good ingredient to success in PvP. But again, um, for him, if um, immortal, if not killed in one shot, he has good survivability. But again, potential to be killed uh, in early game is high because needs to be ranked higher and uh, he is actually vulnerable as well to water so again water is is dominant in pvp so he can be good if he's in the higher ranks already but in the early game to mid if he's a low level and you know he doesn't have most of his high higher level traits he is going to be vulnerable really to water so moving on to Ibn Atar. So he is a water assassin. So big water helps really because again, there are really very few DPS um, units, uh, high DPS units for lightning, which is um, which which water is vulnerable to. So there are very few. I'll, I'll just point them out later. So that is why. Um, Ibn Atar is actually kind of in the middle of the pack. Uh, very efficient with damage over time, which is bleed, but low mobility and survival skill. That is where he falls on. Um, again, his only advantage is his element. Debuff, um, debuff cleanse is also his weakness. Okay, and the last one for tier 1 is going to be Michael. So Michael is a light assassin. Um, again, for those who aren't familiar with Michael, Michael is a girl, but uh, a light assassin, different gameplay as an assassin. I'm not really into the usual assassin archetype. So um, count to very debuff. Um, he, uh, she is actually very good in terms of uh, buffing allies light you know being light element actually helps her survivability and um, he's she is a counter to um, debuff heavy teams okay but but again uh, she's actually also dependent kinda on her um, unique equipment because the, that unique equipment replaces a passive and which you could actually replace another passive with that passive. So she's kind of on the average side of use, very good with buffs, counter to debuff heavy teams. And um, again, she's kind of, she's she's highly mobile, but again, she's, she's a jack of all trades. That's the problem with her. So that leaves her at tier one. Okay, so moving on to the last two tiers here. So we have tier zero, uh, 0 0.5. We'll start off with Nola. So Nola here is a lightning mage, heavily dependent on crit chance for passives to work. That is actually her main problem and is gear and rune reliant. Um, we don't have the right rune and gears early on. She's not going to, you know, help you much um probably in the mid game if you farm that much already uh biggest range in the game that is actually her advantage can decrease cooldown of her skills and get and and very good at uh, killing single targets so she's like your range assassin or your sniper in a way so that is it for nola we will go next to uh next one is sigheart Okay, Sigurd, uh, I can speak a lot for Sigurd. I, I've been using him since I started. Um, converts buffs to debuffs, self-healing, very hard to kill. Can do additional attacks. Just be careful, guys, because if there are water enemies, he's going to be very vulnerable. Aside from that, he's good. 
Um, he's gonna be very, very squishy when Charlotte is around. So be careful on how to approach the enemy, you know, enemy line. Um, if Charlotte is up front, do not put him up front because he's gonna be, you know, he's, he's gonna be useless there. Um, try to take out Charlotte first if you intend to bring Sighard. And, but he is... It, it, he is kind of a tank in a warrior's body but again be very careful of water elements next up is going to be gabby or gabrielle okay gabrielle is a light tank while she's not the preferred tank in pvp because of her element as light um uh, light tends to have the lower stats by the way so but she what they call this she um she lacks crowd control as well so that is also one of the um, the cons about her uh her element lacks crowd control but she's good with counter attack and also her counter attack has increased range she can actually counter attack mages and rangers and um she heals well so again um she can actually take a few hits with a few counter attacks but eventually she she'll wither down but she she's all around that you can really take her she doesn't really um need to be very tanky because she can dish out also a lot of damage with her counter attacks as long as you keep on healing her i don't think you'd have a problem with her okay so next up we have catherine so Catherine is a dark mage, summons, debuffs, um, you have silence and heal, decrease in magic defense. Um, just be careful in using her. She's very squishy. Need her, you know, she needs her um, unique equipment to shine. And her best skill is at level 55. So probably in the late game when all of her skills are unlocked, she could move up to tier 0. But at this point, um, she's gonna be very, uh, what, very stuck with tier zero five. So next up, we have uh, Erica. Erica is a light ranger, great at single target damage, Conver converts debuffs to buffs as well. Really high range, but you need her unique equipment for her to, you know, for you to maximize her range. High investment on traits and stats to increase stats because, again, of her element. She's light. But if you if you tend to invest much in her equipment, traits, stats, she's go also a good ranged assassin for you guys. And the last one. Um, this one, I have, I think, a word of caution. Although Alicia, she's a dark, dark darkness priest. Um, is here in tier 0 5, uh, 0 0.5. Um, she is actually great in early game. Don't get me wrong. You, if you get her, she's great out of the box. Um, her only problem is she can be outshined by lower rarity healers in the late game. So probably your investment with her stops in the mid game and uh, no longer invest in her moving forward. Uh, but um she's a great healer guys um early game to mid game if you have her invest in her cautiously um she she's, she has a very high investment on uh, sorry she is actually you know um she's going to be a resource trap if you invest heavily on her because she will be outshined again that is actually her only weakness um just be careful so that is it. That is it for tier 0 0.5. And moving on to our highest tier, which is tier 0. I'll move on to the obvious later. <laughs> Actually, we only have 6 here. All of them are in tier 0. So Lina here, I would say, is going to be tier 0 for PvP. Um, Lina, Lina. Lina is a water mage. Being water helps actually in her defense liabilities. Her only liability is defense. That's it. But being water, she is more secure actually. So that is why she's moving to tier 0. 
um, can control the battlefield with slow, debuff enemies, and lower magic defense. Very mobile for a mage, for as she can, you know, do an action or use a skill, she can move right after that, similar to a ranger. So she is top in your mage category for PvP. Next up is going to be Clough. Clafare or Clafare. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but I was very lucky to get her an off banner pull with um, Semi's banner. I'm not really, you know, sad about pulling her. So Clafare is a light healer. Take note of that. Um, as long as you're a light element and you're a healer, you're gonna be good. You don't have an element that is uh, going to be stronger than you. And for Clafare, so. Her best skill is giving a an ally additional action. So as long as that um, that uh, ally has moved and she gives an additional action, then that ally can move again. That's actually her best skill and very, very, very useful in PvP, by the way. Um, I've enjoyed using it because I have her and I have Charlotte. So... Uh, more on that in another video. Great heals and great buffs. Probably the best healer buffer in the game right now. Okay, next up is going to be Cassie. So Cassie is going to be kind of be it's gonna be controversial. It's gonna be a controversial pick. The only reason why she's here, it's because of her element. It's water. And water is really solid right now in PvP versus the other elements. Um, but in fairness to her, she is actually a great tank. If 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 you have a tank in the game that is solely um what do you call this? That is solely um, dedicated to her role as a tank, it would be Cassie. So if you're looking for a very, very tough tank to protect Charlotte. Cassie is actually the best protector for her. Um, I've encountered a team um, with Charlotte and Cassie in it. And my god, it was really, really a nightmare for a matchup. So, Cassie, water tank. Water tank. Um, great tank can take a lot of hits. And she's water. What can I say? She can take a lot of hits. And she can really tank as an escort. Okay, so moving on to the next one, we have Richard. Richard is lightning, one of a few that can really counter water. So the lightning, uh, lightning increased um, range in his escort skill, which is very, very good for PvP. Can do stuns and knock back and can do very decent damage or very good damage for a tank. So again, uh, one of the few that can counter lightning in PvP. Next up is also a lightning um, hero, which is going to be Semi. So Semi is a lightning assassin, great damage output, very mobile, great dodge, can be, um, you know, can be a good counter to Charlotte if given the chance. If, you know, if you time it right, especially that... Um, Semi is uh, is is lightning. She can really dismantle Charlotte. So again, again, um, Semi one of the best DPS for lightning as of this minute <laughs> or, or at at this time. Probably probably the best or only the best <laughs> DPS in lightning so far. Um, just have to make sure that you maneuver her well. She she can actually be. She can actually survive a couple of hits because of her great dodge. Okay, and the last one and the obvious one, of course, is going to be Charlotte. Charlotte, what can I say? Doesn't have doesn't have any cons. Um, very good in damage output. Can dish out multiple attacks as high as I've seen four, four attacks in one turn. And if you have Glafari in your team. You you know you 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 give her another turn and she unleashes another round of attack. Both of them are going to be bonkers. So Charlotte, the best 
um, SSR in PvP so far. I haven't seen anybody who can really match up to her in PvP. So if you don't have her in PvP, you will struggle a little bit. Okay, so just want to share with you guys. Um, more or less, um, as I mentioned, there is a disparity in the elements. So again, um, water is going to be is, is going to shine in pvp the only dps that can counter water is going to be semi it's going to be nola and probably richard that's it uh if you don't have those you'll probably struggle against uh, against water in pvp unless you also have or, or unless you're going to be fighting water with water so that is it guys that is a a what you call this a look into who you're gonna be you know you should you know aim for in terms of ssrs in pvp who you should you invest in um mid game and long term as well so we'll have a new pvp uh tier list once we have unlocked both of the skills for all of the SSRs. And I'm sure that we will have new ones by that time. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.